Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your astro intuitive forecast for the week of March 25th. Here currently in New Orleans, the weather has been absolutely stunning. To stay inside seems like the most major crime ever. So I'm just hoping that wherever you are, that the weather and the vibes have been so positive and so good to you. That being said, this week, it's kind of trickling in as if you could picture the most beautiful day, that's what this week should look like. It doesn't matter if you're in the middle of the storms or it's cold where you're at or super warm and beautiful like it is here in New Orleans. This week, I'm not even talking about weather. I'm talking about our life, the energy, the vibrations. All of it should very, very much be very positive. In order to maximize this, in order to bring this into your life, you are going to still want to be very open. That's the same... The, the same message that it was that I was receiving last week, which is, you know, keeping your life simple and purging, releasing and being open and flexible to what is going on in the cosmos is still trickling over into this week. That's not abnormal. That's actually pretty normal. Just because our week starts on Monday and ends on Sunday doesn't mean that the universe and energy works along that same timeline. In fact, it's debatable, in my opinion, if time actually exists. And, you know, the universe and energy just kind of moves forward just like the cosmos and just like astrology tends to just kind of like the charts, they, the, the planets, they move forward. They're not, you know, confined to any type of timetables and any type of restriction in any way, shape or form. So the energy is still kind of spilling over into this week and carrying over into this week. The major thing that it is that I'm seeing is the fact that the sun is now moving to the sign of Aries. Aries is very assertive. It's very dominant. It's very confident in itself. It knows itself. And because it knows its potential and because it has the ability and the strength and the confidence to, you know, take that leap of faith, they are the leaders of the Zodiac. And that's essentially what it is that you're seeing in your life right now. What area of your life do you need to be the, the leader? Like what, what area of your life right now do you need to kind of be um, believe in yourself to have confidence and to call the shots. So in some ways, this could be boundaries and, you know, kind of asserting yourself and being like, uh, no, <laughs> we're not doing this anymore. You know, it'd be that me where the guy's like, what? You really thought that that was okay? Um, so there might be some energy of that. Uh, this is because there is a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of connection, a lot of sparks that are flying. But at the same time, things are still kind of working themselves out. I saw that in the cards where it, it's almost like the universe is kind of suggesting like, okay, this is what we're working on right now. But like, you know, you still have to kind of speak up and say, what is that you need? You still kind of have to speak up and say, what is that you're expecting? What is that you want in order for this to continue to build in order for both parties to work in alignment with each other. So there is this need for you to kind of to be a little bit more dominant and to speak out and to speak up. It doesn't matter, again, if you're shy or if you're normally a bold and assertive type of person. Either way, there's one area of your life that is asking you and calling you to speak out and to, um, you know, kind of take that, take, not, sometimes it might be, you know, take a chance or take a risk, but to be a little bit more, make others aware of where it is that you stand, what it is that you want, what it is that you're doing. There's this thing too that I've been seeing a lot this week, which is the energy of calling in spirit and angels and not doing it by yourself. And I know that you guys know this already. Hopefully you guys are already practicing this and incorporating this in your everyday life, depending on what your spirituality looks like. But prayer, meditation, those types of things, that spiritual connection, whatever it is that works best for you is the best thing to implement. Um, a few things, Pisces, Pisces energy is still very strong with us this week. And I love that. Pisces is the sign that naturally connects us to the divine, that connects us to the universe and the unknowable, you know, the things that it is that we don't, that logically can't be explained, but they're felt. And they make us, they help to shape our belief systems. They help, they help to shape our way of looking at the world and understanding the world in a way that takes it to the next level. And that's through love, that's through your art, through your creativity, through your purpose, and also through your spirituality. And those are things that if these aspects of ourselves are so strong you want to make sure that you're implementing them and that you're calling them in this means burning sage and you know cleansing your space and cleansing your energy fields making sure that you are ready for this next adventure this new this next step step and phase within your life i also i believe in you i believe in your ability to call the shots and to be assertive but i also want you to be supported 
And I want to remind you to call in your angels, to call in your guides, to call in inspiration, to call in meditation in order to ground you and to connect you ultimately to your spirit. Because if you are being so bold and assertive, we want to make sure that these steps that you're taking, these leaps of faith that they're being guided. Now, that's not a warning. I'm not saying that to scare anybody because some of you guys will hear what it is that I'm saying and be like, oh, well, if we need to call in protection, that means that there's something for us to be that you know we need to protect ourselves from. It's like you hear this and then you automatically think worst case scenario. And I understand it because I'm a Virgo and I do it too. But it's not so much that. It's just like if we can make this better, if we can guide our steps and we can make our steps stronger, why wouldn't we want to do that? <clears throat> that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing here. I do see a lot of ebbs and flows. And I see this as ebbs and flows in relationships. I see this as ebbs and flows within yourself and with energy around you. Meaning like one day energy can be high, the next day energy can be low. One day it seems like everything is, you know, falling together and things are working out. And the next day it's kind of like, wait, what? What happened here? I thought we were on the same wavelength. I thought we were taking steps forward. I guess not. So there is still this kind of like, little dance that it is that I'm seeing. Again, I do not see this. I do not want you guys to look at this and get disappointed. In fact, I want you to be encouraged. And that's the vibe that it is that I'm getting as I'm looking at this week and as I'm looking at the cards. Do not get discouraged by this. Get encouraged because this is showing you again, it's it's almost like again the universe is kind of tweaking things or you know the energy around you is tweaking things in order to be like, okay, wait, does this work? It's like plugging this in in order to, okay, which one's gonna turn the light on? You know? And um, if I tweak this, if I do this, is the light going to turn on? And how long does it last? And do I like the way it looks? And do I like the way it makes me feel? Talk to me. Communicate with me. Talk. Tell me. That way I can make this happen. There are a few cards. When it comes to business, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to love and romance, there is this week, the last two, three, the last two weeks, starting within the last week, this week, and moving into the next, Business, I, this is what I'm getting intuitively. Business, creating your own business, creative projects, um, romance, relationships, starting these new ventures. And I, I want to say that it's business because that's how I look at it. That's how I see it. It's something that you commit yourself to. It's something that you're building. These things are taking off. And I say business because for me personally, I even look at relationships as like a business. I look at them as like a contractual agreement. And I know that sounds pretty heavy and kind of like no fun. Like that's, that's the fun out of it. I'm a Virgo. That's what we do. We have the fun out of mostly everything. But it's almost like, okay, and you know, if this is what you're bringing to the table and this is what I'm bringing to, to the table, this, what can we build with that? That's why I see it as like a business because I don't see things in clearly defined, you know, this is what that is. This is what this is. I see it in forms of energy. So that's why I'm saying business, you guys, because it's something that, you are invested in it's something that you're committed to and you want to make sure that you have the right people the right partners that are working with you in order to build the long you know this goal whatever your end goal is and fill in the blank of whatever that means for you but i just see these things taking off and it's again because the potential has been created based upon the bullshit that you guys have been going through within the last six months this has been building building up over time now, again, this is one of those things, too, where I'm not saying that, you know, this week everything's going to, like, magically snap its fingers and appear. It's possible, but for the majority of us, I want to say about 74, 76% of us, we're still tweaking. We're still working out, and we're still adjusting. Okay, this is what I like. This is what I don't like. This is what I need. This is what I don't need. This is what I want. And the best way to manage that and to maintain this is to continue to connect with your intuition, to continue to call out to spirit, to ask the unknown forces, the unseeable forces that you feel, you don't see, some of us see them, but that we feel them to work with us in order to bring in opportunity, to bring in potential, because it is definitely there. There are some cards too. I mean, how positive do these cards get? It doesn't get any more positive than this, if you ask me. This is the chariot. When I tell you, the chariot has been appearing left and right for all readings. I mean, it's not just me. It's not just, you know, who I'm reading for at the time. It's my day-to-day -day card pulls. I'm seeing the chariot everywhere. And this is because there are two like-minded things that have chosen each other because of sparks drew them together. Do you guys remember last week I was talking about this with this spark? What is this spark that is drawing you, this chemistry? It feels like a little firework. And that light, it's like a little moth drawn to a flame. It's, flame. it's not always a bad thing. 
sometimes when people say, oh, it sounds too good to be true or it feels too good to be true, you know what? Maybe sometimes the universe decides that you are worth it. And you just being like, no, I don't. I'm not used to getting nice things and I'm not used to having, you know, things working out for me. So I'm not even going to like take that risk. It's like, why? Like, why? I understand why your your mindset would be guarded and you're, you would be skeptical. But at some point, you have to decide to take that risk. And sun moving to the side of Aries is nudging all of us to be like, take the risk. You know, there's a lot of energy that has been very stubborn for the last year and some change the last, like, all of 2018. And that stubbornness has been good. It's worked to protect you. It's worked to you know, help you to work towards your goals and to kind of block out distractions and to be like, "Uh, no. Um, But at the same time, that stubbornness will exhaust a person if you don't allow yourself to be open and flexible and fluid. Um, And now is the time to be a little bit more open and flexible and fluid with what the universe is trying to bring you. And in order to be open, you have to be like, you have to at least consider that it can possibly happen. And I'm just seeing a lot of signs saying that you know what, there there are some some synch- synchronicities there. There's some mirroring things here, some syn- um, synastry. And if this is who I am, this is who you are, and we're drawn to each other. So, and because of that, because we have the same goal, because we're on the same wavelength, we're able to move forward, we're able to build. And that's what Ace of Pentacles brings. It builds the, the it brings the opportunity the potential to build something that is that you want, that is there for your ultimate highest and greatest good and for your for your happiness some things are given to you just to make you happy alone is that not enough you know so then i'm seeing these cards too that show a lot of like chit chat a lot of conversations this is from the lenderman the gilded i mean look at this deck come on i've been working with this deck a lot this past weekend i've really been gravitating towards it but ultimately i see this as this is the card of choice commitment and also conversation so for those of you guys you might actually be making a commitment or reconnecting with someone with your past and kind of determining what your relationship is going to look like for the for the future. And I see that as a good thing. The Six of Wands, for those of you guys that follow me on Twitter, I've been talking a lot about this. I've actually been having dreams of the Six of Wands showing up a lot lately where this is success and reward. Look how positive these cards have been and how colorful and how the, the vibrations, the goodness that it is that they bring. That's what it is that we're seeing. This is the Queen of cups for those of you guys that are asking the lover's card which is the card of choice and remember we saw that card of choice earlier um when i say choice and the chariot interestingly enough the chariot is two separate things two different polarities coming together and choosing each other choosing this is what we want this is what we're working towards and that's when we start to see momentum so again these are two separate things that are coming together and flowing together naturally and effortlessly. This is not something to force. This is not something to push. In fact, if you push things and if you try too hard, I see this kind of creating a little bit more resistance. You just need to do what's right for you. You need to make sure that your environment feels good to you, that you feel good to you. And whatever that second thing is, it will naturally choose you. If you are serving yourself, especially when it comes to creative projects and businesses, um, you know, if you are taking care of yourself and you're filling yourself up, you naturally fill up with ideas. People naturally gravitate towards you. People naturally want to work with you because they know that you are worth it. So there's not a whole lot of, you know, um, resistance here unless you start pushing it. And that's the other thing too. When you start finding yourself pushing, it's because you, you you're not you're not trusting that it's going to happen all on its own. And if you don't trust, then you not trusting doesn't change the outcome. You not trusting doesn't change the fact that it will or will not happen. Do you know what I mean? The only thing that has changed is your mindset. If you don't trust what is happening, it doesn't stop that thing from being there and being real and being solid and being present. But what does change is your mindset, which means that you change your outcome through that by saying, no, I don't trust it, so I say no to it. But that thing could actually be very well good for you and be designed for you and be a gift. But because your mindset says, no, no, I don't trust or no, I'm, I'm doubtful, I'm skeptical, or I'm not even going to take that chance. That's the only thing that stopped you from having success. Because you not trusting it didn't change the fact that it was trustworthy. The only thing that needed to be changed was your perspective on it. And I hope that, that makes sense. But there is this need to release your desire to control Um you know, and again, this need to control comes from fear 100%. It's if I take my hands off of this, I don't trust that it will 
will this will grow and do things on its own. I have to manipulate. Don't manipulate it. Allow people to be what they're going, you know, be who they are. Allow people to do what they're going to do. Allow people to choose you. They will come. You just don't want to force it. You want to make sure that you are doing everything for you. Um, the other thing is that if you are going to manipulate anything, manipulate is not the right word, but if there's any action to take, it's action for yourself. And again, calling out the spirit, working your magic, and, you know, allowing this unknown, unseen force to kind of maneuver things for you on, on your, for, for your ultimate highest and greatest good. Because again, I'm seeing two separate things that are simultaneous, very different, but simultaneously choosing each other. And they still have a little bit of working out that needs to happen here. There's maybe a conversation that needs to be had or a misunderstanding that happened. But this is perfect because Mercury goes direct this week on the 26th, actually. And Venus moves into the sign of Pisces, I believe, on the 26th. And this creates this potential, this change for these miracles to happen and for connection and, and forgiveness and understanding to happen. But it has to come from a, a place where you are open where you are forgiving of yourself and of other people, where you are creative, where you're inspired, that's where it's going to come from, but it's not going to come from you forcing the outcome. Okay, my loves? So I hope that that makes sense. For those of you guys that are watching this earlier on on Monday morning, I hope that I see you tonight during our Astro Live Chat on the YouTube channel. For those of you guys that are brand new to the YouTube channel, remember that we go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is on YouTube now. It's not on Instagram anymore. Um, if you love this video and if you want to see more videos like that, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe. Make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.